so guys you all are welcome back to this channel so this thing that we have been hearing that um these people they want to bring down idp come to emo state so it's true wonder shall never end because there's a whole of things are putting in this nigeria how can they bring idp camp to emo state like why are they going to do that why are they going to you know keep doing what they know that it's not even it's not even worth thinking of now they want to bring idp camp to emo states and a whole lot of people have been kicking against it i want you to you know come down and watch this video of what this man said in this video he said a whole lot of things and some other videos you still hear what people said about this idea of bringing idp camp to emo states but please if you are new to this channel just do well to subscribe like and also drop your comments below i'll see you guys in a short while <coughs> Adam, uh, very quick one very quick one Biko. Um, they have said they put in a human banner. Now they put a bag a train under IDPs, internally displaced uh, persons. Now they put in a state. Now about uh, how many millions of the uh, barosies and the number Google Nigeria. He and the Boko Haram chop from Makaduna, Makano, Mabrono. You know, my Taraba, my Damawa. Now we should have IDP. Man, they cannot have been away. I did put a Hanimo state about any her training. Give a Sarimo state in the IDP. Nah, eh, Obu for I begin to wonder the kind of leaders I want a Nimo state. I begin to wonder the kind of government I want a Nimo state. Can you have a Sarimo state? Me, IDP training center. And I'm about to say, Nimo state is a problem. Boko Haram on Nimo state. People, they don't want to pass the IDP company. So, why will you transfer the Ugu to Imo State in the training? We are still suffering in the house of Imo State. Isn't that what we are trying to do again to have a problem with us in Imo State? Okay, I will play this video now. Just watch the video first. After watching this video, we will complete the video. On skills acquisition, Federal Commissioner Tijani Ahmed stated this during an inspection of facilities for the training. Atunso in Ehimemba, no council area. Senior reporter Prince Uba has details and will return with business news. According to UN Refugee Agency, Nigeria is home for over 85,000 refugees and asylum seekers. About 3.3 million people are living in internally displaced camps as a result of conflict and violence at the end of 2023. The country is still rated among the 10 countries with the largest number of IDPs globally. Check what you have done. Worried by this increasing trend, the federal government is making efforts to begin training of these vulnerable people in acquiring skills to reduce unemployment. The National Commissioner for Refugees, Migrants and Internally Displaced Persons and his team are here on an inspection of this facility located inside the National Open University of Nigeria Study Center. <laughs> My work, my why? I get put a honey mo state. Imo state was it? Yeah, we're about more putting for National Open University. Why not use it for here, Jimmy? Only you know, just you were put that National Open University. Where is the IDP training? Get it? We're all in Dugu. What are you getting? Imo state. I can have a good guy in Ariana Chabe. I never tell you, Mahana Pana, I have naked there for all that. I've been doing over and over the West. I never tell you, I never become a Canadian or Kiwi. Another Chabenka, who not talking about training do go again. No IDP training center. Give me the Quran, you want not training center for internally displaced. Oh, do, do, do we have a problem in Imo State? For? What is wrong with these leaders? Huh? What is wrong with these leaders? You to dash around you, you to dash around again. I'm body can debo. This is how they sell us out. Lemon, if it be governor. Even the Kenyan government want job, now you feel like you You know what is your only only your problem? Moon for crying out loud. Only your problem? Moon. Can they have it in in, in in Lagos? Can they have it in Abuja? Can they have it in Kano? Can they have this in Kaduna? Why are they bringing it to the southeast? Why are they bringing it to the southeast? I need to read your leader, Sajojo. I need to read you this paper, Lajito. That's why you're going to go over that. 
Nda oro leaders haja ye wegu na this na this na this state na libo. What is your problem? Why why this this gra gra dragging relationship with Indugu? Keruru 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 Indugu baranywa. The only one who has barani is dragging power in the federal. That is the only one that barani dragging power. I would not have barani barani. We are just putting an IDP training center and do gunde fulani. We are also Nimo State. We are here member now. You people should stand on your feet now. We no bankete miliere kuluno. We are here member now. We keep going zone. We no bankete miliere kuluno. You people should start writing petition now. Start organizing protests now. Start standing on your feet now that you are not going here. We no bankete kaho basa kuluno. Unkahobasaruno, a, a place that is unstable as a human being, no? a place that is unstable as a kigwe. Can they chop on Ibrundugwe again? Butekwe, can they mix it up with the locals? Or what? Pamba hana apa? Nampamba eji mana? Can throw maduri kwelu? Can we bunde maduri kwelu? Nde human being under kigwe zone. The ball is now on your court and in your court. Also, no ban onkete. But it is a shame that we have leaders. We have leaders now. We have leaders in Dimo. Now it is a shame we have people like you. Kiakwa is right. If you have uh, 3.8 million internally displaced people from northern Nigeria, from the if you look at uh, the uh, map of Nigeria, eh, the eastern part of Nigeria is the smallest part of Nigeria. The biggest part of Nigeria is up north. Take a look at this. They have the land. They have the space where they can build IDP training centers. In Abuja or in other upper up up north, Oborono, uh, Kaduna, uh, Kano, Shokoto, all these areas. Why are they bringing them to the eastern part of Nigeria? They supposed to the smallest parts of Nigeria. Why? Because of an agenda. There is an agenda of resettlement. There is an agenda that is called the Ruga agenda in the first place. All of this is to ensure that. People find a way of being resettled officially so that eh, in another 10, 15, 20 years, right, they will become a community, a community that is gazetted as part and parcel of that state. You see, the real original owners of the land, they will chase them away. In the past uh, five years, hopeless who's or digba, hopeless who's or dinjo, he has been unleashing terror on his own people. Olu, Osu. You see these two local government areas, eh? This, especially this, uh, Olu local government area, eh? Baba, is the area that currently have the second largest deposit of liquid natural gas in the whole world. The measure which is gas, right? They measure and said, you see the buried liquid natural gas under the ground, the land of Olu, eh, is over 30 trillion cubic, eh, cubic liter, you know? The country with the biggest deposit of liquid natural gas, energy, I mean, LNG, in the whole world is Russia. After Russia, now Olu, in Imo states, it has become the bedrock of different kind of terrorism in the last five years. Unknown government this, unknown government that, and you know, all sponsored by APC. People's land have been taken. People have been, they have been summarily, uh, summarily kidnapped by the agent of government and they made them disappear. They have a place in uh, Oweri, mm? and they call it, uh, it's like an abatio house. Mm? Lion building, a villa lion house, a big coco. If you enter that place, you feel no come back alive. They have terrorized 
evil governor sponsoring terror against his own people. There were this community. I can't remember the name of this community also, in a way. I mean, in the Imo state. They staged a protest that they do not want Ruga in their community. A week after that, the Nigerian Army, the Nigerian Navy, Air Force, sorry, Nigerian Air Force, they started dropping bomb on this community. Uh, Prince JJ Man, please remind me, you are from uh, uh, Abia, and you know this story very well. I need a name. They were dropping bomb on them. The next thing, they move in the military. Guess what? They said they were looking for IPOB, ESN. Because the people go out and protested that their land cannot be taken for Ruga. Because they heard that when Bokwari was sharing money, he gave uh, Imo State $9.8 million. They gave Ebony State $10 million. All of this is for them to provide lands for Ruga where they will bring in Fulani settlers. Okay? And according to them, to reduce any kind of a fight between Fulani and the Igbos. Why should the Fulani be fighting Igbos? What did they get in common? From Futajalon, 1,000 kilometers away, to a community in Imo State. Why should the Fulani come there and fight them? And the way to settle is to give them small land for Ruga. And the people hear that, they say, no, you can't take our land. You can't take our land. We will not give our land. A week, I'm going to go and look for that protest video. I will look for it. And possibly I can still play it on this platform before we leave. These guys protested that they do not want Ruga. They do not want all this in their land. Two years ago, a week or two after that, community of, that is community of rural farmers. They were farmers. Women, men. The next thing, Nigerian army, they started shooting them. They started dropping bombs there. They said they are looking for ESN. They said those people are harboring ESN. They are harboring IPOB. Eh? And they have to clear the whole place. A lot of them were killed. Others ran away. But those who couldn't run away, they remained there. They remained. Now we have now heard that uh, Olu, Osu, these places, eh, they have deposit, huge deposit of LNG. LNG that could make them one of the richest destinations in the whole world if they use their natural resources for them. Natural resources that could actually make all the people, citizens of that communities, never to work again in their lives and they will never suffer again in their lives. Just for coming from that area, just be, you come from Olu or you come from Osu, eh? you will never ever have to work in for the rest of your life from generation like 100 generations to come but what are they doing to them they are unleashing terror on them they are their media is saying these guys are harboring a esn and there is nothing of such you want to reset to full and eh? oru god bless you that's the one they want to reset to full and is they want to reset to full in oru i mean oru and the community said, no. No, they are, they are already wrecking up, destroying our farms. We don't want them here. They protested. Boom. They started bombing them. Their governor is Igbo. Their governor no be Fulaneo. Their governor no be Yorubao. Na Igbo Manu. O place to Zodimba. And today, if you go to those areas, now they are almost ghost towns, ghost communities. So now, the part of Nigeria where Fulani terrorists, Boko Haram, have killed and killed and killed displaced people. They do not have any other bigger states in northern Nigeria to build rehabilitation, a training center for IDP, except Imo states. Now, if the people of that community protest tomorrow, suddenly you will see the Nigerian army. You will see the Nigerian Air Force. They will begin to drop bomb on them. They will begin to burn their properties, burn their houses. And the media will say IPOB versus, they will say government versus IPOB. When IPOB has nothing, absolute nothing to do with it. But their media will push it. And there are some gullible Igbos. Eh? The uh, supposed the coward Igbos. The pick me Igbos. Who still want to be part of this one contraption Nigeria?
they will point and say, now Namdikanu Kosam. This is what Namdikanu has brought on upon our people. See what Namdikanu, since this is IPOB, this is this, this Biafra, this is IPOB, this look at what they are doing to our people. But yet, the people behind all this carnage, these killings, they had the political class. Why should you be, why are you, why are you going to build a rehabilitation center for those that were displaced in Borono, displaced in Shokoto, displaced by Boko Haram in uh, Kaduna, or displaced uh, in Kasina, Kerbi, Jobi. You are bringing them to Imo State to rehabilitate. Come on, man. Eh? Look at this one. So they, know, they have not really said they should rehabilitate people here or, or from their own experience. What can I use this hand for? I said hardly for me to eat with this hand. And it's my wife that is sponsoring me. About seven years ago. Very ugly incident. You see, that is why I said the governor of Ogun State should take it as a responsibility to set up an inquiry. So that people can calm themselves, narrate all the ugly things they have gone through as an Ogun State indigent to the government. And the government should know what to do as a matter of urgency. Because this is Ogun State. And this is Ogun State that past years ago we had a president from this state who governed Nigeria for eight years I never heard of it of any of the state indigenous going to the north to be creating nuisance can I go to Ogu state now can I go to north now as a traditional ruler to be drinking beer in public and Oguguru? tell me what will happen everybody keeps talking as if we don't like Fulanis no they are also Nigerians but their fundamental right does not imply them coming to be killing people in their land. We are becoming a slave in our land. And this is right time we need to let the government know that if the government refuses to do what is right, then people will be, should be able, don't blame anybody to take weapons and defend himself. Because in our constitution, there is self-defense. The command has put in place a very serious uh, security arrangement on ground there. The Commission of Police, C.P. Edward Awolo Ajugun, was there uh, personally today, together with the Deputy Commissioner of Police in charge of operation and the uh, squadron uh, commander. Uh, they are there for on-the-spot assessment of the situation. And uh, we are able to discuss with uh, the farmers, the, 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 the natives there, and the... Uh, the what can I use this? You know, our people are, our people have been, you know, destroyed by this uh, murderous full and terrorist and when you look at all the areas we initially thought oh they were just they, they were they were just uh, terrorists who are like you know collecting ransom no they are targeting there are areas that are being targeted these are areas rich in mineral resources that even the people living in those communities have no idea what is buried under their land they have no idea they are wondering why are these terrorists full and ease? Occupying their lands, shooting and killing everybody. What? Why? Ogun State has so many mineral resources, including uranium. You are right. We have so many of these uh, precious uh, mineral resources, and our people who are just living their normal life in the rural areas, rural communities, they are being targeted by this full and terrorist and their sponsor. And then you see the political class, these weak men. They are ready as long as they are paid. They are willing and ready to let them do whatever they want. Just give, give us money so that we can go and buy properties in Dubai. Buy properties in America. Buy properties all over the world. Eh? Buy citizenship for their children. And then ignore, abandon all these uh, rural dwellers. This was uh, three years. Almost four years now. Three years ago.
in Ogun State. I'll keep reminding us this horrible event. Due to that crisis, full and a crisis that was of course at our country. That's the reason why we migrated to this place. We are forcefully migrated to this place due to that by force. By force. It's not by willingness. What 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 uh, uh, guys? Uh, I have got women. Uh, oh man, man or women? Come at us, uh, man or women? Only you, only you. Are dying here? Uh, both the women uh, and men migrated from that thing. No, are there people that died there? They say how many people they kill there? Uh, okay, oh, okay. Okay. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Uh, there are few many people. 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 Many people